ayan siya. Tapos kinakasal nga ako. Magiging takot, magpagamot ay mas nakakatakot. everyone, welcome back to my channel and I know it's been a while since in update ko yung channel ko uh, dahil I've been busy with schoolwork, work-related uh, paperwork, and personal finance updates since kinakasal nga ako. And for today, I would just like uh, first um, say thank you to doctors for requiring me to do this project. And since pinagawa niya sa akin to, nakaisip ako na why not mag-include ako sa channel ko ng um, segment or portion where entitled Pharma Knows, where I get to impart knowledge about a particular disease, non-OTC meds, pharma and non-pharmacological management, and other clinical skills on a pharmacist view. Ha? Since pharmacist nga ako, I am not a doctor, so um, knowledge is solely based on the articles or, or links na ipoprovide ko sa comment section or description box. And, ayun. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be talking about, as you've seen na nga sa title, um, osteoarthritis. So again, osteoarthritis is also known as wear and tear arthritis. And in general, di ba, pag may suffix na itis, I-T-I-S, it means inflammation or pamamaga. Ito yung kondisyon kung saan sumasakit, namamaga, um, at nagiging stiff yung mga joints. Ang osteoarthritis kasi is associated with the breakdown of um, cartilage in the joint and can occur in any joint of the body. Ano nga ba yung joint? Bakit meron tayo sa katawan? Joints are responsible for holding the skeleton together and support movement. So ano-ano at sino-sino ang nagkakaroon nito? Usually yung mga 50 years old and above or may mga cases din na mas bata sila nagkakaroon. This is due to overweight or pagiging obese or yung may mga BMI na more than 23. Why? Dahil kapag ang tao overweight, eh nag increase or nadadagdagan yung stress niya sa new joint. Kaya kahit pa paano totoo rin yung sinasabi ng friends natin na kapag tumataba sila, eh sumasakit daw yung mga buto nila. So, yun nga, kasali din dun yung mga athletes dahil dun sa previous training nila na overuse nila masyado yung mga kasukasuan nila. And it can also be hereditary or namamana. And mas marami yung cases ng mga babae, lalo ng, lalong lalo na yung mga menopausal age. At kung merong um, bone malalignment, estrogen deficiency, and metabolic syndrome. And ang osteoarthritis kasi can be classified as primary or secondary. Primary osteoarthritis siya kapag walang predisposing disease. Um, pero associated siya sa mga risk factors na nabanggit ko kanina, kagaya ng katandaan or pagiging overweight. Yung secondary osteoarthritis naman kapag ka meron ka ng pre-existing joint abnormality or predisposing conditions gaya ng trauma or injury, congenital joint disorder, inflammatory arthritis, a vascular necrosis, infectious arthritis, Paget's disease, osteopetrosis, metabolic disorders, and hemoglobinopathy. Dami. <laughs> so upon research, osteoarthritis daw is the most common form of arthritis in the world. And in Asia, since part ng part ang Philippines ng Asia, tama ba? <laughs> Nagisip. <laughs> So, it is estimated to be the fourth leading disability. And most cases na naitala, cases that involves hip knee joints. So, mas tumatanda daw, or mas nag age mas nagiging prone. Pero wag matakot, if 50 ka na, eh, may osteoarthritis na ako. No, yung mga minansyon ko kanina are just risk. Meaning, posibilidad, or maaaring mangyari. So, ano ba yung nangyayari kapag ka may osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis daw involves a degradation ng cartilage natin and remodeling of bone due to active response of chondrocytes. Again, ano bang nangyayari kapag ka may osteoarthritis si patient? For example, may drawing ako kanina. Ito yung dalawang bone natin sa knee, sa tuhod. Both end of the bone 
merong articular cartilage. So, kawa, ano ba tong articular cartilage na to? So, articular cartilage kasi, siya yung um, shock absorber. And siya din yung nagsusupport ng gliding ng mga buto natin. So, sa nunting di synovial joint, eh yung synovial joint natin. Ayan. Ayan siya. At yung green part na to, yung parang ruffle part, ay yun yung fibrous capsule. So, pag bata ka pa and healthy, you are mobile and yung joints mo are stable and strong. Diba sabi natin kanina, sa osteoarthritis merong degeneration of cartilage. So, naiintindihan na natin ngayon na kapag itong articular cartilage natin, yan, yung mga yan, ay na damage, nag-breakdown, and nag-degenerate. So, yan, ang tendency, pwedeng numipes itong part na ito. Manipes, yung parang Yan, from there, magiging manipis siya. So, yun yung mga usual cases ng mild osteoarthritis. Katagalan, itong narrowing na to, or pagkipot ng space between our bones, pwedeng lumala hanggang sa tuluyan nang mawala yung articular cartilage mo. Hanggang sa yung mas mismong mga buto na yung nagkikiskisan na nire-result sa formation ng ating bone spurs or osteophytes. Okay. So, kapag ka may osteoarthritis si Lolo or si Lola or si Tita or si Tito or yung, kung yung pasyente, pwede niyong ma-feel yung tried of symptoms, kagaya ng joint pain, na luma, pwede siyang ma-exacerbate or lumala kapag ka may activity, kagaya ng exercise, na naiidsan when resting. Pero sa severe cases, kapag ka, um, severe na yung osteoarthritis, kahit na um, wala na siya activity na ginagawa, naka, nagpapahinga lang siya, eh sumasakit pa din. So, ayun, number two, stiffness. At dahil dito, meron siyang locomotor uh, restriction or reduced joint movement. But the presentation and the progression of osteoarthritis depends or vary person to person. At kailangan din natin maging watchful kapag ka worsen pa rin yung pain kahit na wala na siyang activity or when resting, kagaya nga nung sinabi ko kanina. Morning stiffness lasting more than 30 minutes. At yung range of motion is limited. Dahil ito ay ilan sa mga komplikasyon na associated sa osteoarthritis. At sa diagnosis, merong acronym to look at the changes kapag merong osteoarthritis si patient. Ito yung acronym na LOSS or L-O-S-S. -S. L is for loss of joint space. O for the presence of osteophytes. S is for subchondral sclerosis. Another S for subchondral cysts. Diagnosis part natin, una-una dyan yung physical examination. Pangalawa, x-ray, which is very important para makita yung joint space narrowing at kung merong cyst na present. Pwede ng CBC or blood test, ultrasound, para yung mga makita yung ibang complication. Ito yung kapag ka sa mga malalala na. Sa mga gamot naman, yung ating paracetamol, acetaminophen, um, topical um, NSAIDs, and oral NSAIDs also are pwedeng, pwedeng i-reseta sa mga patient natin or kamag-anak natin na merong osteoarthritis. Pero di ba kasi sa NSAIDs natin, it can induce um, gastric discomfort. So yung iba, nagpa-prescribe pa sila ng additional proton pump inhibitor para ma-counteract yung side effects ng NSAIDs natin. So again, di ba, sa, sa PPI, especially dun sa mga matatanda natin, uh, maging watchful tayo kapag uh, mayroon silang omeprazole, ganun. Kasi si um, vitamin B12 or other vitamins, pati si vitamin C, it requires acidity of the stomach in order for them to be metabolized or to be absorbed. Eh di ba nga, si PPI natin, nagtatanggal siya ng acidity sa chan natin. So, meaning, hindi maa-absorb si vitamin B12, um, especially sa mga food din na nakakain natin. Pwede siya maka-induce ng anemia. So, dapat maging watchful tayo sa mga ganitong cases. So, for our non-pharmacologic treatment naman, it is important to educate our patient or educate yung nag-aalaga sa patient to help the patient lose weight. Hindi lang tayo pa pwedeng magsabi, oh, dapat mag-diet. Siyempre, natutulungan din natin sila, for example, iwasan niyo po yung ganito, uh, more on ganito pong mga pagkain. Iba kasi nagsichart, especially sa mga diabetic patient natin, yung ibang doctors, naglalagay na agad sila ng leaflet na ano yung pwedeng iainin, ano yung mga dapat nilang iwasan, which I think very important. So, number two, yung physiotherapy or yung paglalakad gamit yung stick. 
pagka nahihirapan na, yung, di ba, yung matatala yung mga tungkod-tungkod na. So, yun. And number three, it's also important to advise the patient to wear appropriate footwear. Meaning, yung comfortable dapat sila. Last, yung acupuncture din daw has been shown to have a benefit on some people. Doon, severe cases naman, pwedeng mauwi sa joint replacement therapy na sana hindi na mauwi sa ganun. So, always up to consult your doctors agad. And always up to consult your nearest pharmacy regarding the medications. And please, huwag matakot magpa-check up. Ang pagiging takot magpagamot ay mas nakakatakot. Let's remove all the stigma sa medical checkups. Let us be reminded to take care of body mentally, emotionally, and of course, physically. So, ayun. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please hit like and subscribe kung hindi ka ba nakaka-subscribe. And this is your Lux Pharmacist PH on PharmaNose Episode 1. Bye!